السلام عليكم طلبتي الاعزاء نلتقي معكم من سلسله محاضرات كلينيكال فارماكولوجي لطب الاسنان المرحله الثالثه طلاب اليوم محاضرتنا بعنوان سيمباثيك دراجز تكلمنا طلاب المحاضرات السابقه عن الادويه التي تعمل على الباراسيمباثيك نيرف سيستم وقسمناها الى قسمين قسم من هذه الادويه تعمل اغونيست وقسم منها تعمل انتاغونيست وايضا تكلمنا بان هذه الادويه بعض المرات تعمل على الاستالكولين يمكن ان تكون دايركت اغونيست او تكون اندايركت اندايركت اغونيست عن طريق الانهبيترز اوف ذا انزيمز ذات ريسبونسبل فور ذا ديجريديشن اوف اسيتايل كولين سو وي كونتينيوز اباوت ذا بارتس اوف ذا اوتونوميك نيرف سيستم اند ديسكاس ذا مين دراجز ذات افكتينج اون ذا اوتونوميك نيرف سيستم So, uh, sympathetic or sympathomimetic drugs can be divided into two parts. The first is direct acting and indirect acting. So, what is meaning of the indirect acting drugs or sympathomimetic drugs? It means that drugs can bind to the receptor directly and exerts its effect. So. What types of receptor of the sympathomimetic? It is include alpha and beta, and also in addition to these two receptors, there is D receptors. So alpha can be divided into two, three part, the drugs that affect on the alpha one and alpha two, and non-selective. There is no differences between alpha one and alpha two. In addition, there is another group of drugs that called beta agonist, which is means that drugs affecting on beta one and beta our drugs affecting on the beta two are none of the selective between beta one and beta two, which is called non-selective beta agonist. And the second uh, group of the sympathomimetic drugs, it is called indirect acting drugs, which meaning our, our, can, our can be divided into two parts. The first is uh, control the release of epinephrine, our noradrenaline, into synapses between presynaptic and postsynaptic, which is called indirect acting. Our, it is control the reuptake of the norepinephrines to the presynaptic uh, neurons, which is called uh, reuptake inhibitors. So what is, this is a subdivided of the sympathomimetic agonist. So what is the mood of action of the sympathomimetic drugs? There is three types. The first is directly activate their adrenoceptors and the second is indirectly to increase the concentration of the catecholamine transmitters like epinephrine, norepinephrine and dopamine in the synapses which is called reuptake inhibitors. For example of the main drugs that affecting on these mechanisms it include amphetamine and tyramine. Another forms of the indirect acting, it is seen with cocaine and tricyclic antidepressant drugs. These drugs inhibit reuptake of catecholamine by the norepinephrine transporter and the dopamine transporter in the nerve terminals, and thus increases the synaptic concentrations of the release neurotransmitters like epinephrine, norepinephrine, dopamine. This is the main mechanism for indirectly acting sympathomimetic drugs. So, if we ask you that what is the mechanism of the indirectly acting sympathomimetic, we answer as the following. It is divided into two types. The first, it is the drugs that increase the concentration of cactical amine transmitters in the synapses, like amphetamine and tyramine and another mechanism it is inhibit 
the reuptake of the norepinephrine our epinephrine or dopamine in the synapses which is called tricyclic antidepressant drugs this is the second mechanism this is figures show what is the uh, mechanism of the drugs affecting on the symp sympathomimetic drugs the first is cocaine and tricyclic antidepressant which is called nor uh, epinephrine reuptake inhibitors it is a prevent the reuptake of norepinephrine to binding to the cell membranes of the presynaptic neurons and therefore it is uh, not permit to the enters again to the neurons which is leading to the increase the concentrations of the norepinephrine in the synapses and the second mechanisms uh, of the sympathomimetic indirectly like it is uh, prevent the degradations of the norepinephrines in the synapses leading to the increase the times that present of norepinephrines in the synapses another mechanisms for this uh, drugs also it is tyrosine uh, uh, so uh, sorry it is there is, is another mechanism for the uh, and uh, antagonist our nor uh, uh, prevent the degradations uh, our antihypertensive drugs or uh, our it is uh, prevent the release of norepinephrine into the synapses the first mechanism is guanidine which uh, this is part discussed later in the uh, drugs that are affecting our drugs some more uh, sympathetic drugs antagonists sympathetic drugs antagonists like guanithidine and orosirubine and metorosin so metorosin prevent the conversions of tyrosine to uh, to dopamine which is meaning there is, is no neurotransmitters in the physicals or no norepinephrines in the physicals another mechanisms of the anti our sympathomimetic antagonist it is a prevent the binding our interference of the dopamine to the uh, neutral uh, our to, uh, to uh, conversions of the dopamine to norepinephrine by reserpines another mechanisms it is a prevent the binding of the norepinephrine physicals to the cell membranes by the main drugs it is guanithidine so this is the main discuss mechanisms include in the sympathum sympathetic drugs antagonists which discussed later in the lectures adrenergic receptors Adrener adrenergic receptors can be classified as alpha or beta receptors both of these groups can be divided subdivided into main groups three types of the beta adrenergic receptors called beta 1 beta 2 and beta 3 were identified followed by two different alpha adrenergic receptors like alpha 1 and alpha 2 epinephrine adrenaline may be considered a single prototype agonist with effect at all receptor types alpha 1 alpha 2 beta 1 beta 2 and beta 3 alternative alternatively alternatively separate prototypes phenylephrine and alpha agonist and isoproteinol beta may be beta may be added defined so uh, from this slide we discuss that subtypes of the adrenoceptors it is divided to the alpha and beta receptors alpha subdivided to alpha 1 and alpha 2 where beta can be sub uh, classified to the beta 1 beta 2 and beta 3 okay there is another, another types of the drugs which is the prototypes as alpha agonists like phenylephrine or, uh, or beta 2 agonists like isoproterenol so which is this drugs can be discussed later in this lectures 
Sympathomite may take drugs our adrenergic agent. What is the pharmacological effect? The effect on the heart, direct effect on the heart through the beta receptors leading to the increased heart rate force of the myocardial fraction, uh, myocardial contractions, cardiac output, increased oxygen consumption. So it is causes tachycardia. The effect of the sympathomimetic on the blood uh, vessels like adrenaline and noradrenaline it is leading our causes constructions تغيق in the blood vessels in the skins and mucous membranes constructions can be occurred through the both receptors alpha and alpha 1 and alpha 2 receptors adrenaline also dilate the blood vessels of the skeletal muscles on account on the presence of the beta 2 receptors and therefore it is degrees of the diastolic blood pressures so noradrenaline has had no effect on the beta 2 receptors so what is the effect of the adrenaline uh, on the beta receptors beta 2 receptors what is the effect? Adrenaline can be affect the uh, blood vessels of the skeletal muscles by causing dilatations because the beta 2 receptors it is present in a huge much in the skeletal muscles causes to the decrease in the diastolic uh, blood pressures. So uh, what is the effect of the sympathomimetic drugs on the uh, blood pressures? The first is adrenaline. Causes increased systolic blood pressures. Causes vasoconstructors on the alpha 1. But lowers the diastolic, which is uh, said uh, uh, later, by uh, causes uh, peripheral actions like vasodilatations through the effect of the beta 2 receptors. But mean blood pressures arises with increase in pulse Okay, the mean of blood pressures, يعني معدل ارتفاع الضغط راح يرتفع عندنا السيستوليك طلاب وينخفض عندنا الديستوليك لكن معدل هذا الارتفاع بالضغط يؤدي إلى ارتفاع الضغط وبالتالي أيضا increase in the pulse pressures. This is effect of the adrenaline. What is the effect of the noradrenaline? It is causes arises in systolic, diastolic, and mean blood pressures and does not cause vasodilatations. This is the differences between adrenaline and noradrenaline because of no actions on the beta-2 receptors and increase in the peripheral resistance due to its alpha-2 action. So what is the effect on the pulse pressure? Recent studies suggest that a 10 millimercury increases in the pulse pressures, increase the risk of the major cardiovascular complications and mortality by nearly 20%. So the pulse pressures is proportional to stroke volume or the amount of the blood ejected from the left ventricle during systole that is inversely proportional to the compliance of the aorta. Okay? يعني كمية pulse pressures طلاب تتناسب مع strong volumes حجم الدم اللي راح يخرج من من left atrium of the heart. Okay? That is that is inversely proportional to the compliance of the aorta. وربما هذا الشيء أدينا طلاب كمية الدم that is dead ما يتناسب أو يتناسب عكسيا مع قابلية الأيارتا مع قابلية الشريان الأبهر على تقبل الدم الزائد When أيارتا has the highest compliance in the arterial system due to part in part to the relatively greater proportion of the elastin fibers reducing the pulse pressures وبالتالي إذا كان عندنا الأيارتا عندها highest compliance in the arterial system 
فبالتالي احتمال يؤدي لنا الى امتصاص هذا الضغط العالي الموجه من الليفت اتريوم وبالتالي greater proportions of the elastin fibers elastin fibers يصير بها شنو تتمدد في سبيل تقلل لنا من حجم البرس بروجرز if the aorta becomes rigid in conditions like atherosclerosis pulse pressures would be very high اذا كان اكو مثلا اثيروسكلوروسيس يعني اكو تصلب الشرايين او تصلب اكو دهون مترسبه على الشريان الابهر فبالتالي قابليه الاستين فايبرز تصير ريجيد صلبه بالتالي باس براجرز ود بي فيري هاي راح يكون الضغط داخل الاي ار تي كلش عالي وير سم ادرانكس فور هايبر تنشنز هاف ذا سايد افكت اوف انكريزنج Resting blood pulse pressures and irreversibly other antihypertensive drugs such as IC inhibitor, captopril, enalapril, lisopril have been shown to lower pulse pressures. Okay. So effect on the gastrointestinal tract. The effect of adrenaline causes. Relaxation of smooth muscles of the gastrointestinal tract and reduce its motility. Relaxations of smooth muscle of the gastrointestinal tract can be brought about by both alpha and beta stimuli. Okay, while the effect of the respiratory system, the presence of the beta two receptors in the bronchial smooth muscles causes. Relaxation, bronchodilatation. Okay, this is more benefit drugs in the treatment of the asthmatic. حالة الربو. ليش؟ لأن سبب إن وجود البيتا تو الموجودة بالrespiratory system تؤدي إلى relaxation. توسع بالقصبات الرئوية وبالتالي يمكن أن يعالج لنا حالة الأكوت أسماتيك أتاك. Among catecholamines, adrenaline and isoprenaline are potent bronchodilators due to its effect on the beta-2 action, but not adrenaline. Why? This is the questions for you and answer by classroom. What is the effect on the eye? Mediasis occurs due to contraction of the radial muscles of iris. Through alpha receptors, so if in the free eye drops, it is causes mitriasis. What's the effect on the types of the receptors? It is effect on the alpha receptors. Conjunctival ischemia, white conjunctival sac due to constrictions of the conjunct conjunctival blood vessels. So this is the main effect on the eye. Other smooth muscles effect. Like in the urinary bladders, the trousers muscles is relaxed by presence of the beta receptors, and trigone sphincters is constricted by the presence of the alpha receptors, and both the actions tend to inhibit micturations. The effect of the adrenaline inhibits insulin release by its alpha. Receptors action, whereas it is stimulated glycogenolysis by its beta receptor stimulant. It is leading to the increase of blood glucose. Okay, and therefore, and therefore, adrenaline causes hyperglycemia. Another effects adrenaline causes lacrimation, and salivary gland are stimulated. Okay, what is the effect of the adrenaline on the maps? This is, this is the main questions for yours in the uh, lectures. So, maps viral infections with initial signs and symptoms often include fever, muscle pain, headache, and feeling tired. This is th uh, then uh, usually followed by painful swellings of the one or both parotid salivary gland. Symptoms typically occurs 16 to 80 days after exposure 
and resolve after seven to ten days. So symptoms in adult are often more severe than in the children's. So what is the treatment of this patients? There is no available cure for the MAPS and the treatment is supportive. So symptoms may be relieved by the application of intermittent ice or heat to the affected area and the biacetaminophenes as analgesics or ibuprofenes for pain relief. Warm salt water gargles, soft food and extra fluid may be he also help relief of the symptoms. The MOPS, يعني, this is the uh, viral infections and no cough اللي يحدث بالأدلت والشدرينز طبيعي التريتمنت هو سبورتيف بيكوز it is due to its effect as the uh, uh, as viral infection so the main uh, my uh, questions about what the effect of the adrenaline on the MAPS viral infections what is the effect of the catecholamine our adrenaline on the CNS Catecholamines amines do not produce any market effect on the CNS because they do not cross blood-brain barrier. However, adrenaline may be produced restlessness, apprehensions and anxiety, excitement and tremors on the intravenous, our intracarotid injection. What is the pharmacokinetics? Catecholamines amines are absorbed from the intestine but are rapidly degraded in gut and livers by the main enzymes as monoamine oxidase or COMT. Thus, they are inactive on oral administration. It is mainly administered only by parenteral, so it is not available as formulations for oral because it is rapidly degraded by the main enzyme like monoamine oxidase or COMT. What is the adverse effect of the catecholamine, our, uh, our uh, adrenaline, our sympathomimetic drugs? It is include restlessness, anxiety, tremor, headache. Both adrenaline and its noradrenaline causes sudden increase <coughs> in the blood pressures, precipitating subarachnoid hemorrhage and occasionally hemiplegia and ventricular arrhythmia may produce anginal pains due to increases in the heart rate in patients, especially in patients uh, with ischemic heart disease. So what is the contraindications of these drugs? It is include patient with hyperthyroidism, hypertension during anesthesia with halothane and sacropropane because it is these drugs increase the secretions of our release of the norepinephrine and it is also contraindications in patient with angina pectoris. So the therapeutic uses of these drugs include it is used mainly in the allergic reactions in the treatment of the acute allergic disorders like anaphylactic shock because it is acting as physiological antagonist of histamine release in case of the allergic disorders. It is used in the bronchial asthma, acute and neurotic edema, acute hypersensitivity reactions to drugs like penicillin allergy, and in the treatment of the anaphylactic shock we said later. So also it is used in the treatment of the cardiac uses, like it is stimulate the heart in the cardiac arrest, uh, adrenaline can be also used in Stox Adam syndrome, which is a cardiac arrest occurring at the transitions of the partial to complete heart block. Miscellaneous use of these drugs, it is included in the phenylephrine, it is used in fundus examinations as mediatic agent, it is present as eye drop. And anorectic drugs can help the obese people, like sepituramines, which is removed from market because it is main adverse effect on the cardiac toxicity. Isoxaprines, isoxaprines, 
which is used as uterine relaxant, relaxant has been used in the threatened abortions and dysmenorrhea. The main drugs that use in clinical use it is dopamine which is more preferred in acute renal failures in renal doses. It is an immediate metabolic precursors of the noradrenaline. It is activate D1 receptors in several vascular bits, which causes vasodilatations. It acts on dopamine and adrenergic receptors. يعني يشتغل على dopamine receptor أيضا عند فعالية على الألفا والبيتا. What is the pharmacological action of dopamine? It is effect on the blood vessels. عن طريق تأثير على D1 receptors causes vasodilatation of the renal, splenic, coronary, and cerebral arteries. In the heart, uh, it is uh, increased the heart rate and cardiac output. In the CNS, it is are used in the Parkinson disease. Uh, dopamine agonists can be used like L-dopa are used in the Parkinson disease, while dopamine antagonists, chloropromazine, are used in the schizophrenia. So, agonists used in the Parkinson, the rash and antagonists can be used as in the treatment of the schizophrenia, like chloropromazine, large actyl. The second drug is dobutamine, which is preferred in cardiac uses. It is derivative of dopamine and has relatively beta-1 selective action. It increases the force of the myocardial contraction and cardiac output without significant change in the heart rate, blood pressures, and the peripheral resistance. So it is preferred in case of the heart failures. So more preferred drugs of this, it is used in the treatment of the, uh, it is not affected on the heart rate and uh, blood pressures and peripheral resistance. It is different from dopamine, which is the main effect on the heart rate and blood pressures and peripheral resistance. The other drugs is ephedrine. It is act indirectly and directly on the alpha and beta receptors. It increases the blood pressures both by peripheral vasoconstructions and by increasing the cardiac output. The main effective in the treatment of the moderate to severe asthma or chronic asthma in the treatment of the nasal decongestant, which is present as tablet or uh, syrup as midriatic without cycloplegia and useful in preventing ventricular acetal in Stokes Adam syndromes. And also it is used in the treatment of the obese by degrees of the appetite and used in the narcolepsy. Main, uh, this drugs, our preparations, our uh, formula can be withdrawal by FDA in the 20,000, 20,000, 20,000, 20,000, 20,000, 20,000, 20,000, 20,000, 20,000, 20,000, 20,000, 20,000, 20,000, 20,000, 20,000, 20,000, 20,000, 20,000, 20,000, 20,000, 
and the uh, next days. Thank you very much.